So next question from you guys was, what is the best thing you can eat for energy before a workout? Before he's even allowed to answer, Nutella. Um, it's funny because there's a common misconception that, you know, like our body's primary source of fuel is, is carbohydrates. Um, it's not. Our body's primary source of fuel is, is fat when we're in an aerobic state. Okay. No. I'm going to let him continue to explain this, but the pr body's primary source of fuel at any given time point, aerobic or anaerobic, is carbs. It's because it's the easiest to break down. If we pull up a pathway of how carbs are metabolized in the body, it's basically a straight line up and down can be broken down super quick, whether it's coming from food you eat or it's being broken down from your liver or your muscles. Fat cannot be broken down that quickly. Yes, you will use fat at lower intensities as an energy source. It's something that kind of just keeps the engine running, but it's not the body's primary source of fuel, nor is it the preferred source of fuel for any type of exercise. The fuel is fat when we're in an aerobic state. That's what my body will use when, uh, when my muscles have oxygen. You know, me and, me and for us here, we're sitting here, we're, we're talking, we're able to breathe, our muscles are able to get oxygen, oxygenating the muscles. So we're burning a majority of fat. There's always a mixture. Um, what I need to do is unlock certain um, energy, I guess, compartments. Um, when I do something anaerobic, like you're talking about a, a workout, uh, I'm, I'm going to burn carbohydrates as a primary source of fuel. That well, primary. I need to unlock that because it's, it's stored. And it's stored as glycogen. How to release that glycogen? Um, I, I take in protein. Protein releases a hormone called glucagon that tells my body to to use free. Uh, I don't know if I can continue watching this video, guys, because he's literally making up metabolism and science. That's you do not eat protein to release glycogen. That makes zero sense. You know what releases glycogen is your body signaling that your blood glucose is low and that we need to break down stored carbohydrate sources, AKA glycogen, to increase our blood sugar. And the only hormone that does regulate that is glucagon, and it's released from the liver, but has nothing to do with eating protein to stimulate that hormone.